All right, I am headed towards uh, Salmonberry and I'm leaving the Phillips house. And um, we're going up to uh, the light ahead and that will be Sedgwick. Um, and we are five minutes In 1, away. Feet, turn so, right. Um, when we get closer to the house, I'll give you kind of a, you know, what's the area look like type scenario. But I would say otherwise, it, the area is going to feel very similar. So um, this brand new neighborhood here, it's been there just about uh, a little more than a year, maybe two years. Take the next right. And then across the road, there's also a new neighborhood and uh, there'll be new construction there um, in the 500,000s. Since we are on a fairly main road, um, I just want to show you kind of what it looks like. One thing about Port Orchard, uh, they did a really good job at putting conveniences kind of all around. So you don't have to go to one central area for anything. Um, over here we have, um, you know, a corner with gas station and I think maybe a couple little businesses there. And that's something I would say overall Port Orchard has done a, a really good job of. If we turn right here at Jackson, that would take you to one of my favorite parks. There's lots and lots of parks in uh, Port Orchard. And if we just continue on Sedgwick, we are just a couple of miles, maybe, you know, three miles from the highway. And I mentioned that there's um, conveniences. This over here is called Fred Meyer. That's kind of like our local version of Target Walmart, um, Sam's Club or something like that. Um, so this this little section, it's Bethel and Sedgwick. You can see the sign right there for Highway 16, which is just up ahead. Just on the other side of the highway is a big Lowe's. Um, we're heading Take towards the next where right. the Walmart is. So again, one thing about Port Orchard is they do a really good job at dispersing convenient things all around. Um, so that traffic isn't horrible going just okay so i am on this kind of main road called bethel and i'll be turning left onto salmonberry um going into a more underdeveloped side of salmonberry and i believe there's a bit of future development that will be happening out in this area nothing really slated at the moment um Will arrive at and this is the, the dead end feet. of Salmonberry, so I guess in some ways that's kind of good. Um, you know, not a lot of ways in and out, but what we're going to end up with is quite a bit of what I would call non-conformity. So you're going to have all different home types here. You know, it's less of a planned neighborhood. Um, you know, Phillips Road was probably that way as well, but this is maybe more apparent just because you're tucked in onto this dead end street. Okay, um, cement hardy plank siding all the way around. Big, huge front yard, lots and lots of rain, and an open house going on. So I'm going to do the best that I can. Um, happy to have the covered front porch. And I may poke my head into the to the yard in the back. Um, again, you saw the video. So kind of a mod podge of a way the roads come together. But I would say generally what I can see the home owners around here look generally good. Okay, we are here at the open house and two of my favorite realtors are here. <laughs> So uh, what's super cool about this space is that um, it's two stories all the way across to those stairs. So it's going to, um, on a day that isn't a storm, it's going to let in a lot of um, light and air. And you have these very cool floors. They're laminate, um, a little bit of a bay window there, and then this really cool bow bay here with all the transom windows. So again, on a normal weather day, we're going to have a lot of natural light in this space convenient closet right in the entry and when you come in you're going to come in onto uh, tile flooring so that's pretty all right let's go on back look at this mud room so this is great got um, vinyl in here it looks like a rolled vinyl and then this is going to take us into the garage 
And this is a two-step down garage. And we have your water heater and your furnace here and um, really cool workspace. So in my opinion, there's enough room on either side of this garage to actually park two vehicles. Um, I would say the furnace and the water heater are both original. The house isn't old enough to really have gone through changing of the guard yet. So very nice, tall ceiling height in here. So lots of room for parking and storage for the garage. Into the cool mudroom. See the stairs right across the way. Uh, powder in on this floor. And this has the same vinyl as the um, laundry area does. Everything's very clean and everything smells really good. So we have uh, under stair storage and then another little bit of storage behind that. So that's probably going to pocket um, around. So lots of storage here. And then also you have uh, your crawl space hatch. It's nice when it's interior. So pretty uh, tile floors in the kitchen and Eden kitchen space. Big kitchen, really pretty cabinets. White appliances, natural gas. Newer uh, Whirlpool refrigerator. Pantry. Not super deep, but still nice pantry. Got this family room off of the uh, kitchen space. This is a very spacious family room. Um, I would say they've underutilized the space in the family room. And again, I'm not going to head out, but um, the yard appears to be fully fenced, and it is a really nice big yard and then a garden shed. Top of stairs. Got wood risers. And everything looks in excellent shape. <laughs> Carpet looks very new, if not brand new. First room on the right at the top of the stairs is a big office, bonus room. There's no closet here, so we cannot classify it as a bedroom, but it would make a nice bedroom. Overlooks a large side yard, and that side yard is big. The whole yard is very big and flat, which is a big bonus. Okay. Master, huge. Lots of wall space, limitless. Amounts of furniture. Even have a nice uh, setup there to hang a TV. This is a queen size bed, but certainly plenty of room for a king. Ceiling fan, and we have our ensuite. This also has tile floor, tile countertops, big mirror, double vanity, soaking tub. Privacy room for the commode. Walk-in shower. This is a fiberglass insert. And then a decent size walk-in closet. Scuttle access in here. This could probably be better um, if you put in a you know closet organizing system, but really nice. So I'm thinking that the floor tile is newer then the tub tile looks original to me. And you can see from this angle how this overlook works. It's really pretty. Okay, down the hall. So I'm gonna go with hall bath, there we go. This has the same vinyl flooring as downstairs. Has a tile countertop, probably the original box vanity. Uh, updated lighting, tub shower combo, and this is a fiberglass tub shower. Looks in excellent shape. Almost looks like it's never been used. Okay, a 
upstairs laundry, which is quite convenient. Dirty clothes are upstairs. The laundry can be upstairs, makes it nice. And we have um, the two additional bedrooms. Bedrooms are all very nice size. So I'm gonna go with 11 by 11, or maybe 11 by 12. Wardrobe closet, ceiling fan. Again, the carpet um, not only is new, but they put in a really good quality carpet. It feels way better than like a builder grade. Very nice pad. The final bedroom. Um, I think it may be a little smaller. No, maybe 12 by 12. 11 by 11 or 12 by 12. Overlooks the front yard. Um, again, this house I would hands down write an offer on. I'm sure they have 100 offers and I will find out since the agent is here today.